Hey hey puppies, welcome to the Curiosity World, or welcome back if you are a fan of the season. Today we are going to be working with one of the great shortages of our world. We have a couple of great shortages, but well, mainly really one. I mean, I guess iron is a shortage, but also another big shortage we have, a huge shortage we have, is coal. Fuel, we have like no fuel like at all. <laughs> I literally don't even know if we have any. So in today's episode, we're going to be working out how to get coal. Coal is an incredibly useful resource in Minecraft. Not only is it fuel, it can also be used for torches, which are amazing for lighting up areas easily, and all sorts of crazy things. It is so, so useful and so great to have a lot of it early on in your world. But getting coal can be high enough hard, and in 1.18, getting coal was made even harder by the fact that if you want to mine for other things such as diamond, maybe redstone, iron even, those things, when you're mining at those Y levels, you don't get coal when you're mining at the best Y levels for those blocks. Which suddenly meant that I went mining for all these things and then found myself having a major coal shortage straight after. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be working on the best ways to find coal in your world. Hey, you beef! Look at that steak recipe. Mmm, yes. It's steak time. Now you may be wondering, Ninja, you just said you don't have any fuel, you can't cook the food. Well, actually... <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I am doing this, because I really want steak. I'm not eating more beef. See, I'm just going to cook up some food here. We might mainly just use sweet berries and then use the steak like in case of an emergency. If like a skeleton jumps out of nowhere and attacks me, then I get some really good food with me. But look at that smoky taste. Mmm, it's gonna be like, mmm, delicious, rustic, a real, the flavors, as they, the flavor, like you can smell that, the aroma, like it's delicious. Like those, those steaky juices, it tastes delicious and it's actually come really quickly. Bam, 27, just like that. Put it in there, it's like nothing ever happens. So if you can still have that faint smell of steak every time you turn on your fireplace. So today we're going to be talking about the best ways to get coal. Now let's take a look at our maps here, because one of the best places to get coal is in the mountains actually. Nowadays the mountains get very big as we all know, but that means very big and very high means more coal. So up high in the mountains, where have we found any up high mountains? That's a very good question. Hmm, uh, none on this map, and none on this map. <laughs> yeah, not really anywhere. We haven't really found any mountains or anything. Well, we have found some pretty cool spots, but no mountain things. We haven't found anything to 1.18 yet. We found that giant cave, which was cool, but it was dripstone, unfortunately, not lush. Smash my couch, but I'm taking my couch with me. So, we're gonna head in that direction and go find some coal. Now, mountains aren't the only place that you can find coal, but, oops, I do have a boat with me. By any means, certainly not, no, no, no. There's plenty of ways to get coal. All of the ways to get coal that I can list off the top of my head are mining and wood skeletons. Okay, so that's like, there's like two places. Or well, I guess loot chests as well. True. But there are some different ways to get coal. You could mine low down while also going for things like iron, or if you want to be like me, you could go to a big mountain and mine a bunch of stuff from there. But that's not the only way to get coal or charcoal. Charcoal can be made from smelting logs, which is actually what I've done a couple of times. That could be reasonable if you don't have a huge mountain nearby, you don't want to mine for coal for some reason, and you have like a tree farm or something. You could actually do some sort of like an infinite loop for that. Certainly if you have like an automatic tree farm, semi-automatic, whatever. You could actually use charcoal instead. Huh, I've actually come down this specific spot heaps of times, just never with the map. Interesting. She is really quick to get over. <laughs> so charcoal is a good enough variant of 
coal. It works in all the same ways, completely the same as coal basically, except that you can't find charcoal or anything, because that wouldn't make sense. Another way though, if you want to get specifically coal, well fair enough, I mean you don't like the look of charcoal, it does look a bit funny sometimes. Another way to get coal, it's actually from Wither Skeletons. Now Wither Skeletons are not a mod that we've encountered in this season yet, so if you don't know what they are, don't worry, we'll talk about them one day. But if you have a big Wither Skeleton farm, you'll probably get, uh, I don't really know how much coal you get from them, whether it will be decent or not. But you will get coal from that, so that is a way to get coal. It's more late game than anything, certainly not for the early game, because they have to be in the nether at least. Not that you would ever really make a, um, with the skeleton farm for coal. Like, I don't think you do that. Like, if you're that, if you're late game enough, and you just want, like, coal, you should probably just go with charcoal. Unless you really want to fight, like, a bunch of withers. So right now, we are currently in the windswept forest. Also, day 101, triple digits everybody, that's amazing. All we need to do is times that by 10. Wow, that's a very steep cliff there. But as you can see, there's coal on that cliff. Mm -hmm. It has worked already. Whether I'll go and get that coal, probably not, because it's right up the side of the hill, but like... I'm willing to go a decent ways to get coal, but I not too far. There's also some coal over here. But can we talk about the fact Windswept Forest and Windswept Hills? Like, that's such a silly name. It should have been called Extreme Hills, because that's what it is now. Like, it is just an extreme hill, and the mountains are like... Like, I used to... I thought the name Extreme Hills was funny. One coal. Well, that is more than we've had before. <laughs> I think... I mean, I just got more coal than we have in our stockpile. Another good way to find coal is caving. Well, yes, caving would be very good, if it doesn't go into the negative Y values. Remember that you never will find coal in the negative Y values. Even the fossils that you sometimes find down there generate diamonds instead, which, you know, isn't bad. But it isn't good if you have a bunch of diamonds and you just want to make a torch. Coal! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, whoa! Whoa, hang on a second, not just the coal. I knew there was some biome that I generated from coal. Also, oops, I'm using a biome pickaxe. How much coal do I have now? I'm probably rich. Seven? I'm so rich, guys. I don't have any wood with me. I'll flip. Whoops. So, in the long term, what is the best way to get coal? Well, to be honest, I have to say the best way to get coal would probably be charcoal. So, the best way to get coal is don't get coal at all. Interesting case. Yeah, basically, I think the best way to get coal is charcoal. Oh no way! There's a village over here. Oh, I had no idea. And that hill is looking more cool though. Like, wow, this is pretty cool. Wow. There's totally a village over here. I did not know. Lots of farmers. Oh, does it have a crafting table? No, that one has a furnace. I'd say that getting coal in the long run could be done easily with some sort of like automatic charcoal farm. Product. Oh, it's arctic foxes! <gasps> Did you see it? They're so pretty. Arctic foxes are beautiful. One of these buildings better have a car. Oh, you're stuck. You want to be a toolsmith? Do you want to be a toolsmith for you, sir? You are free. Look how much coal we're getting. Surface mining is also another way you can get coal. Time for us to eat our first delicious steak of the world. Oh, that's delicious. So much saturation. 
Surface mining is also another great way for you to get coal. That means just mining just a bit below the surface, maybe even just mining up the dirt. It certainly works if you have like a haste beacon or something. You can just mine up around in the... in like the mountains or the windswept hills or whatever it's called. Oh, hey, it's some iron here as well, I'll take that. Ah, there's some coal. So surface mining, if you were to have something like an efficiency four or above shovel, that could work very well. Oh, look, it's not. That could work very well in biomes like mountains, so you could just mine up all the dirt. Don't necessarily have to even pick up the dirt, you can just mine the dirt. And then, um... Look and see if coal or a little bit of iron gets exposed, and copper as well, probably you find some. Oh, look at this coal! The windswept hills, the, the beautiful extremeness of them is the extreme amount of coal. That is why they should also be called extreme hills, because they have extreme coal. That's what they should be called, extreme stony coal mounds. Mm -hmm. Because I think Mojang made one little error with the fact they called them the windswept hills. Is that um, there is no wind in Minecraft. Hmm, that's just a little problem. I mean, if you're gonna call something the windswept hills, guys, and you want to be realistic, like maybe, maybe we could start seeing some some wind in Minecraft. Like, I don't know. It's just a thought, guys. Wow, this is so huge. I have to, I have to say, this wider rivers are like one of my favorite changes. I've been talking about wider rivers for a while now, and I never realized, even though I was like campaigning for it basically, I never realized how great it would actually be to get wider rivers. Like look at this, oh my gosh. Like frozen oceans aren't this big. <laughs> hey look, there's an igloo, an igloo, an igloo, an igloo. Have we even found an igloo in this world yet? All of our... All of what? Have we even found an igloo in this world yet? It's going tonight soon, which means the snow will have to... OW! Go away. So, in case we haven't ever talked about this structure, this is the simple but also very cool, cool, get it, igloo structure. Inside it always contains a crafting table, redstone torch, and a furnace. It has ice for windows and a snipes bit of carpet in the floor. Well, that's an amazing structure. See you later, guys. Wait. Before you go out in the non snowy, snowy area, remember this block. This one, right there. If you break the carpet. Oh! Sometimes there's an oak trap door and then some ladders and it takes you down to a secret basement. But unfortunately this one does not have that. And the secret basement has some very cool things and some mobs in there as well. But we'll have to find out what that is when we actually find an igloo with the thing in it. Like, yeah. So in conclusion, if you're looking for coal, don't go too deep in your world. It's a very good idea to just stay up on the surface, maybe even just go exploring and mine for coal. You definitely don't need to go deep down to find a lot of coal. Remember that no coal will generate above, uh, sorry, below Y0. So don't look in the negative Y values for coal. Remember that mountains have a lot of coal, and you can fortune coal, so if you have the fortune enchantment, bring that along if you're looking for a lot of coal. Charcoal is also a good alternative to coal. I'm saying coal like so much, but I mean the episode is about coal, so I can get away with it. Charcoal is also a good alternative and works well 
as maybe even a better option late game. There we are. And we return home, not as the same people, I must say. We are different ninjas today. Ninja, ninja and puppies today because we, we are now rich in coal. Mm -hmm. We could make like four stacks of torch, like like seven stacks of torches. Had <laughs> some storage in here. Coal doesn't even get in because it happening at the time. And there we go, almost two stacks of coal. That easy. Also, 40 animals. What the? It's all from exploring. None of that's from trading. I don't think so. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Try with the village of the build right That one's like the only one that I remember that's 1.18 related. Also, look at this 36 out of 50. What? It's episode like 13. Episode 13, we've already set up 36 out of 50. What the? So that is going to be just about it for this episode. Why is the fireplace so noisy all of a sudden? Probably because it cooked me over two stacks of food. Bam! Yes! I'm, we got food now. I'm super excited. Hello, Attic. Just before we leave, though, there is a block I want to craft. I'm leaving because I still remember, I still think all my supplies are out there. And they are not, so they're all in here now. Yeah, I put some more storage in here, obviously. That's chests, you saw the chests, I was looking at the chests. Some of them are kind of random, this one's like more mob drops, and that's like plant base. This is ores and things, this is more kind of random stuff, but kind of related. Uh. Oh, there's. <laughs> I was like, I don't have a crafting table. I actually have a crafting table right next to the thing I was at. Anyway. What we're going to craft is a storage block called a barrel. Two of magic. Well, I don't have the resources for two. But barrels are very amazing as a storage block. Not only do they look beautiful here, as you can see, they look amazing. But also, they work just like chests. You can't make them into double barrels, which would be kind of interesting if that existed, actually. But the big thing is, you know how chests, if you have a chest and then, um, I think I have... Yeah. So the big thing is, chest, solid block, can't open the chest anymore, but, barrel, solid block, you can still open the barrel, which means you can stack those directly. Barrels are great for storage. Add in 1.14, they're brilliant, and I'm going to use this one for food. Food barrel, just like I had last season. Repetition. I was just the urge to say repetition three times there. <laughs> I was uh, the same repetition three times there. I was looking for a stack of steak in here in case of emergency or something. So now, if we like die or something, which of course we will never die in this world, zero death war, of course, always. But if we ever did for some good reason, then we spawn back up that tree. You just come down and get like a stack of steak and then come out here and fight the monsters that killed us. But of course, that will never happen. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway. That is going to be it for this episode of Curiosity. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit about coal. And if you have any questions about ores in Minecraft, or basically anything about Minecraft, as long as it isn't too complex, then I should be able to answer it. Leave it down in the comment section below, and I shall answer it if I see it in time. And so, puppies, I think now I only have one thing to say to you guys. See you soon!